Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills, and welcome back to another one of my videos. And this might be the most important video I drop for a long time to come, man. This video is going to help a lot of the Booyah Nation kick off FIFA Ultimate Team on FIFA 20. Now, it's going to be for the poor man, Road to Glory. It's going to be for the rich man, Road to Glory. It's going to be for the people with a lot of money, no money, the good players, the bad players, the top 100 players, the, the bronze one players. It's going to be for everybody, bro. I am going to give you guys the biggest tips in every tip I use, and I swear I'm not leaving nothing out. If you guys want to see more how-tos, like how to get top 100, how to do well in squad battles, smash a big old thumbs up, and I will try to give you guys all the information I got. But today, it's about how to make coins. Today, it's about how to be getting real rich the first week of FIFA. Now, this is going to be for early access and for not early access. Now, if you got the early access, if you don't know what that is, it's on PlayStation and Xbox now. Before, it was just on Xbox, but they moved it to Sony as well now. You could buy early access, which gives you 10 hours of the game before the game actually releases so it's gonna come on september 19th all right it'll come out about midnight on september 19th wherever you're at and it's gonna run all the way until uh uh well 10 hours are done but there's usually a glitch where you can like buy another five dollars and continue going and continue playing now a lot of people don't got the money to waste so i understand and for you guys i got tips for y'all for people that are gonna do the glitch and keep buying the early access or for the people that just buy early access in general I got some big news for you because you guys get a real big advantage. Now, the game is going to come out on September 29th. Uh, and remember these dates because uh, these dates are very, very important. Now, let's jump back to, as you see on your screen right now, I'm going to show you FIFA 17, FIFA 19, FIFA 18. I'm going to show you every single FIFA when I start and the exact moves I make. Why? Because this is the best way to profit. It's the best way to make thousands and thousands. Honestly, by the time I'm done telling you what to do, you could end up making 100, 200, 300,000 coins just like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you want to do is get onto FIFA 20 and jump into the catalog. Yes, the catalog is confirmed. I made a video telling you the catalog was not in the game but now that the capture event has happened uh which unfortunately i didn't get to go to the capture event has happened now that the um you know a lot of people are talking on twitter there's been screenshots the catalog is in fifa 20 important why in fifa 19 i don't believe you could buy the kits and get money for them correct me if i'm wrong but uh in fifa 17 you could do it so if it is in the fifa you want to buy every single kit every single ball every single badge and discard them i know a lot of them look cool you want to look swaggy on the pitch but right now it's not about swag right now it's about you getting money uh and then you can swag out later in the game when you guys your sick, sexy players and you made a lot of coins and you're rich in the game now you're gonna jump onto it okay you don't want to put no money into game that's fine baby jump into ultimate team hit up that catalog the most important thing buy the bonuses buy the coin bonuses now remember this and this is very important you're gonna want to buy the bonus at the bottom first all right the one that gives you the most coin bonus per game all right this is very very important because your first couple games of fifa ultimate team i don't care if you're a good player or a bad player they're gonna be the most important games you've played in your life all right it's gonna put your fifa 20 experience in a good place or a bad place all right let's say you got early access you got 10 hours all right the first thing you're gonna do is the catalog thing you want to do this as quick as possible you have 10 hours any trading you want to do anything you want to get going you're gonna go on the web app all right you're gonna do none of that on the game you don't want to waste your 10 hours all right now i jumped to fifa 18 so you can see me doing the exact same thing so now as you can see, I'm showing squad battles. Remember squad battles is very, very important. The first thing you want to do, don't think about squad battles. Jump into rivals. But skills, I ain't got a team. Skills, I can't play with this. Go with a bronze team. Because what's going to happen is the game is going to drop on Thursday at 12 p.m. You're going to be able to play early access wherever you're from. Now, what does that mean? That means that squad battle rewards, excuse me, that means rival rewards are right around the corner. Unless they change the date and the time, they always come out, uh, uh, you know, the morning of the Thursday or whatever, whatever that, you know, Thursday morning or whatever. Um, so I believe, right, when you get the game, you're going to be able to play loads of rival games, all right? It doesn't matter where you place. doesn't matter how we get it. No matter nothing. Jump in and play and play, 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 play. Win, lose, doesn't matter. You're going to get four games to put you in a qualifier, four or five games you got to play to put you in a division. You're going to jump into that. Get in there. Win, lose, wherever you get placed, doesn't matter. Then you're going to play some games so that way you secure yourself either, as long as they do everything the same, some coins or some untradable packs or some tradable packs now for me i probably take the tradable packs let me tell you why i would take the tradable packs over the coins everything you pack in this game in the beginning is going to be worth a lot now remember whatever you pack let's say you pack a moderate don't sell them relax calm down let me explain also if you pack an inform hold on to it three years ago four years ago i packed Aubameyang, and i packed them during the first week of fifa now remember the first week of fifa especially during early access a lot of people don't have the game all right the hardcores have it not a lot of the the the, the, the casuals you're going to hold on to your players for about a week because once the game releases, everybody's going to be in demand for a lot of cards. And now the first informs, well, those are only in the game during early access. So now you have a card that's super rare. Let's say Messi, for example, which he's not playing right now, but let's say he had a week one inform. 
You now have a card that nobody else has if you pack him. Nobody can get him ever again. That card will never be seen again until he gets another team of the week, which means that card's going to go up in value. Now, regular gold cards usually go up in value once the game releases as well. So once you get big cards or if you hit any card, make sure you play your safe. All right. Now we're going to jump into rivals and get our rewards. Boom. Rewards come out. Open those things. See what you get with your coins. Invest a little bit. All right. Play it smart. Premier League is a place that a lot of people want to build want to want to get teams in there now you're going to play it smart right because a lot of people are going to get on this game they're going to start opening packs it's going to quick sell stuff they're going to sell stuff low low budget they're going to sell stuff because they're just trying to get rid of it they're trying to get rid of it as quick as possible because they want to build their team they want to get going right away and that's when you're going to snatch them up hold on to them and sell them a little bit later once the game is actually released that's huge the next thing you played your rivals you got your stuff in you're feeling good you're feeling good you got your rivals and you got your packs going to move into squad battles like this is very important in fifa 20 you're going to be able to reset your squad battle from what i've heard you're going to be able to reset squad battles you don't have to you usually have to wait for a timer you can play four games and then you next wait for the next day play another four days not no more suppose you can keep playing and playing and playing and playing so listen you get the game on thursday you got 10 hours thursday all the way to sunday you can get all your games in Like right? sunday's when rewards come out if you can finish your squad battles bro you're getting at a huge advantage with squad battle rewards, if you can get all your games in, with the rival rewards, you're easily looking at 100K. You're easily looking at 200K. You're like, oh, skills, I can't do well. Listen, play a professional. Play on world class. Play on amateur. Any packs, any coins are going to help you, especially if you don't feel like wasting money on the game. All my rich man of glories. You know you guys out there that are doing the rich man. Listen, bro. Rich man's are cool. I don't need to do that skills. I just open packs. Yeah? You like giving all your money to EA Sports? Do it. Make sure you do it still, bro, because I opened packs last year. I opened packs all last year on my Rich Man of Glory FIFA 19, but I still did squad battles, and I still did drafts, and I still did weekend league because I'm not trying to give all my money to EA Sports. I open some packs here and there. I'll do it like Nike, bust out some icon packs, bust out some team of the season packs, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to get as much coins without giving EA money. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I didn't do this for content, I would really be doing more and more and more without trying to give any money at all. So make sure you play it very very smart even if you're doing a rich man of glory you want to get your squad battles in all right oh, but skills i don't want to play offline man offline is for noobs yeah being rich ain't for noobs though all right having a lot of coins and having a big team for the weekend leagues not for noobs remember that weekend league will only start in about october it's like the first or the second week of october so you got about two weeks to fix your team before the weekend league kicks off which means if you start off in squad battles and you play your rivals during the early access in the first couple weeks of fifa you're going to be able to put yourself such a nice squad that when weekend league kicks off for the first weekend your team is so big that's going to put you at an advantage to get yourself a nice finish all right that's when we're talking about top 100s elite one finishes the big money the big dollar bills that's how you become the psgs the real madrid's of we of ultimate team you know what i'm saying so make sure that you're playing it safe make sure you're playing it smart when you make your investments make your investments wisely i'm not going to come in here and tell you guys what investments to make because that's not my place right now i'd have to be on the game and also you're seeing you know me from back in the day and fifa 17 and 18 this is how i started right here i'm playing squad battles for you guys that's what you guys are seeing i'm showing you guys how i'm dominating squad battles um, but that's what you want to do, man. You want to make sure you go into squad battle games and try to get five goals and don't get anything suffered on. All right, you're going to get the max amount of points. You're going to try to do everything. I've been getting top 100 in squad battles for um, FIFA since it's come out. You know what I'm saying? Top 100 every single, um, every single week. Um, I try my best to get as much coins as possible. And I, I've done this. Again, rich man, poor man, it doesn't really matter. Now, guys, you played your rival games. You got your squad battles. Then you're feeling kind of good. Now you're feeling a little bit cheeky. Feeling good about yourself. How about a draft? A little bit scared? Listen, I get it. I understand. Drafts are scary, bro, because you put 15,000 coins in. Not only do you want to win the draft, but at the same time, you don't even know if you're going to get guaranteed rewards. Your rewards might be trash no matter what. I do get it. It's a big gamble, but it's a gamble that I really like, man. I believe I believe in myself, right? Like, it's one of those things where I don't think I'm a good FIFA player. And I know a lot of these things I'm saying here, like, oh, skills, this is easy for you because you're a top 100 player. Um... Not really, man, because I could be a top 100 player on FIFA 17, 18, and 19, but 20 might come out, and it might be a play style where I just suck, and I could go from being a top 100 player to a bronze one player, and you might go to a bronze plus one player to a top 100 player. That's the beautiful thing about a game that comes out every single year. Play styles are always different, and I might just suck, bro, and that just might be the way the cookie crumbles. But at the end of the day, you're not going to know unless you try. That's the most important thing, man. As you can see, I'm on FIFA 19 on a rich man to glory, and I'm all the way right, right back into top 100. I'm, I'm back doing squad battles, bros. It doesn't matter if you're doing a rich man or a poor man. Free coins are free coins, and make sure you go out there and get your coins. All right, so we went into the catalog. We got our catalogs and your bonuses. You did your bonuses, so while you're playing those squad battles, you're also getting bonuses for that. So you'll probably be like, well, skills, before I go into the rival, should I try to put a good team together? What should I do? Honestly, I'll probably play mine with my bronze or silver team. And you, you, you're going to laugh at me and be like, wait, you're going to play placements with the bronze? Yeah, dude, because 
I don't really care where I place. I just want to try to get, obviously, the better you do, the more coins you're going to get, the more better packs you're going to get with your placements. Um, so, but, so there's that. But at the same time, I just want to get some coins into the account. So that way I can invest in cards. That way I could possibly get into a draft and start moving. In FIFA 19, I did my first draft ever. Now, this is something that's called very lucky. In this draft right here, as you saw, I packed Cristiano Ronaldo. If you watch my content, FIFA 19, I packed Ronaldo. So this, this is a tough one, right? Because I did my rivals. I did my early access uh, 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 rivals, my early access squad battles. And then I jumped into a draft with the coins from that and I packed Ronaldo. And this is what I mean. Let's 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 just take that Ronaldo and let's say it's not Ronaldo. Let's say it's um Sterling. Let's say it's uh, Bernardo Silva. Let's say it's uh, Varane. Let's say it's Marcelo, a player not as big as Ronaldo. These cards are still going for a lot of money, bros. And remember that everything that's coming out of packs, a lot of it's going to be needed. People are going to be doing it for squad, uh, for the for the for the SBCs. People are going to be doing it for uh, um, you know marquee matchups and, and the hybrid leagues and all this stuff, man. I also want you to tell you that this is a draft here. My first ever draft on FIFA 19, I actually lost it. I lost in the final. So this is me losing. I packed Cristiano Ronaldo from losing the draft. All right. So I packed last year. I packed Cristiano Ronaldo from losing the draft, and I packed Cristiano Ronaldo from rival rewards. Um, I know that sounds like a little bit. Yes, I got very lucky. Yes, you know people be like red list. No, there was no red list. I promise you. I just got extremely lucky. And I'm not saying you're gonna have my luck, but I'm gonna say if you put yourself in the right positions then you can get some, you, you might have some luck on your side, all right? So get in, catalog, buy your coins. Grab kits if you could discard them, discard them. Jump directly into rivals, okay? If you want to mess with squad battles first, okay, that's fine. But I'm telling you something right now. Rivals, you have a small window. Game comes out at 12 p.m. Whenever the reset is, bro, it's a small window to get your rivals. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get, because rivals come out, isn't it Thursday? It's Thursday morning. It's like Thursday at like 3 a.m. my time. That rivals reset. So from 12 until 3, you got three hours to play Rivals so you can get some re rewards. At the same time as the Weekend League rewards, right? I think it's like 3 a.m. my time, man. 3 or 2 a.m. Not 3 a.m. my time, right? So make sure you get up in there, bro. Make sure you get your Rivals in because you have three hours. from. If you're in the UK, you have more than three hours. If you're in the UK, you have, man, the game comes out 12 your time. And that's five hours. I'm five hours ahead of you. I'm five hours behind you. So you're going to have like eight hours. You're going to have eight hours of playing Rivals, boom, before the reset. So you're going to be able to get deep into some rewards. I'm going to have three hours to get rewards. And then once I do that and the reset happens, now I got some packs from, you know, I'm going to build a team. Listen, the cards you get from opening your, your squad battle rewards, make a team. Use it. Let's say you pack Cristiano Ronaldo from squad battle rewards. I mean, from your rival rewards. Don't sell him. Don't be like, oh, I got him. Let me sell him. Hold him because his value is going to go up. Use him to play squad battles. Use him to play rivals. Use him to get better finishes. Play with them for the whole week. And then once the game fully releases, a couple days after that, er that game is fully released in every country around the world, sell your Cristiano Ronaldo for profit. Build a team. Do it the same thing with models, your Neymar, with anybody. Any big card. Let's say you pack Benzema, right? Let's say you pack Benzema from those early rival rewards. You know how much that guy's going to help you in squad battles? You might be like, but Benzema sucks in FIFA. Not in squad battles. Not when you're going at the squad battle games against bronzes, bronze goalies, silver goalies, because that's what you're going to see in bronze. The weaker gold, you're not going to see the big teams. Nobody has big teams yet. So you're going to see weaker squad battle teams, and you're going to have Benzema or Suarez or Cavani if you get that lucky. These guys aren't great, but they have crazy finishing, and their pace is decent. So all you got to do is really give the ball to them and take those shots, man. Take those shots with a great shooter. It doesn't matter what your chemistry is. doesn't matter none of that. Get up into the thing. Play on the level you can play on. Listen, but skills, you play on ultimate. No, I don't. I play legendary. When I was getting all these top 100, it was on legendary. You know what I'm saying? I did play ultimate towards the end, but I started on legendary, right? So... If you play a lot of career mode, jump in on World Class Legend. If you don't, jump on what you can so you can just get yourself some rewards. Open up, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and get more packs and more packs and more packs. But use your rivals, your rival rewards to put yourself a decent team. Doesn't have to have full cam to play squad battles. And then use your squad battles to make enough coins to take a chance in the draft if you want to. If not, save your coins, invest a little bit, and wait until the game is fully released and sell everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this technique... This is the way I start every single FIFA. This is the way that I always start my road to glories, my, my rich man to glories. And it's the way to make a lot of coins in FIFA 20, man. I promise you guys, it works. I promise you guys, it's a great technique. You can also bronze pack method. I got more I got more tips. If y'all want to know how I get top 100, what I do to get top 100, smash the thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below and I'll make it happen, man. You guys want to know how I get top 100 in squad battles, let me know. I'll make a video about top 100 squad battles, top 100 uh, uh, weekend league. I'll do it, man. I'll make these videos for you guys if you guys want to see it. But this is how I make coins in FIFAs. Um, obviously, the Cristiano Ronaldo was not really making coins. That's called lucky. Um, but I use the system. I did rivals, which went into squad battles, which went into a draft, which got me this. Um, so 
Ladies and gentlemen, that is my tips. If you guys enjoyed it, smash a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. That is how you make money in FIFA Ultimate Team, in, in FIFA 20. That's how we're going to make money. And that is how you start Ultimate Team, man. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. The Road of Glory is going to be lit this year. And I'm going to use the exact, same, the, the exact same techniques I just told you. I'm going to do it for you, man. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. I will see you back in tomorrow. Same time, same place. Oh, yeah.